Hey folks, this is Gary with Creely Blades, and uh, I just wanted to um, talk to you a little bit about a company, a tool making company, it's going to be upside down for you there, called TR Maker. These guys make, uh, well, they make a few different knife making tools. Uh, the ones that I have been gravitating towards are the um, small wheel attachments. Now, the first thing I got was this. I had a, might have been a KMG or some, some other brand, and it just got wore out from the belts. When the belts ride up and down, they, you know, they mess up the holder eventually. You do that enough, and I did. Uh, and so I was at Blade Show a couple, two years ago now, and saw this. It was a pretty attractive price. It came with this, and it came with this set of wheels. <clears throat> One of these wheels is being used on the second thing I got. Then, not too long ago, maybe a week or two ago, I got this other set of wheels, and these are the rubber ones. There's, That's the one that's there. The rubber ones. And then some of these really small, like this guy is probably close to a quarter inch. It's metric, I think, so might not line up exactly. So I got those in just recently. Uh, I got these, uh, this little setup and, uh, I've been wanting one of these for a while. I have some axes here and I have a difficult time getting to one particular part of the ax, which is right here. But now I can get that done. So, uh, but there, there are other, there are other uses for this. I'm a little curious with the sandpaper running on these wheels, how long these will last until they get to be smaller wheels. Uh, I'll be running a little footage of the, of the tool in use. Uh, so for me, this was the piece that came. And then I always keep, I always have a couple of these around bars. This one, I believe, is inch. This is a, a steam grinder. It uses inch and a quarter. My other grinder uses inch and a half. But anyway, I always keep some of these around. I just drilled the two holes. It came with these bolts to bolt it in. Bolted it on. Boom. And uh, I like it a lot. I do want to show you... Uh, this comes from Turkey. I do want to show you one thing. I'm just going to get... Uh, let's just grab this guy here. This is... Let's, let's use a cleaner one. Let's use a cleaner one, one I haven't used yet. There we go. This is the piece. Um, the common ones we use in America. Now, I know there's some companies that use bigger bearings, but they're this size. I don't know if you guys can see the difference there or not, but it's pretty significant difference in bearing size. This one's a metric. Uh, I can't see that it has a size on it, but... Long and short of that just means less wear, less wear on your bearings for the same amount of use. Um, so I like that about them. Um, I don't exactly remember all the price. I want to say this guy alone was something in the neighborhood of, don't hold me to it, 130. <clears throat> I think this guy with all this stuff was around 130. And I think this and this was around 150, give or take. Those prices are fluctuating these days. But <clears throat> I just didn't see a lot of reviews on this. And I've been pleased with these here. I'll turn this on for you. Obviously, this is a homemade getup. But... Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this TR Maker is as good as any of the other small wheel sets out there, and it's a little bit cheaper, so uh, I'd recommend it if uh, you're in the market for one. The one thing that's crazy <clears throat> is that it's coming from Turkey. Uh, so that's a long way from Pennsylvania, and this thing, these things come in like t three days via DHL. And the shipping's not too bad, so 
two thumbs up for the TR Maker.